Welcome to Lecture Online. In algebra, you're going to encounter something called an expression, which begs the question, what is an expression? Well, the definition is kind of a complicated one, but here, let's give it a try. An expression is a group of one or more terms. So here we have some examples of groups of terms. This is a term, this is a term, this is a term. An expression is a summation or a difference of these terms. So in other words, they can either be added or subtracted from one another. Each of these terms contains a product of numbers and or letters. So here we have 3 times x, here we have a times y. And those letters represent either constants or variables. The ones that are written in the beginning of the alphabet, like a, b, c, d, that type of letter, those are typically representative of constants. And letters that are in the end of the alphabet, like X, Y, and Z, are typically representative of variables. Not exclusively, but that's the norm. So here we have 3 times some unknown variable, plus 5 times some unknown variable, minus 4. That forms an expression. Notice that none of these expressions have equal signs. Whenever there's an equal sign, there will be a left side, a right side, an equal sign in the middle. That means you have an equation. An expression is not an equation, it's simply a group of terms with no equal sign. Here we have a times b, assumed to be two constants, plus three times c, c assumed to be a constant, plus four times d, d assumed to be a constant. Here we have three times x plus four times y. x and y represent variables, can be any value, and they're not going to be the same. So three times an unknown value plus four times another unknown value. Here we have a constant times a variable, a times y, plus 6 times y, y assumed to be a variable, plus the constant 20. And here we simply have a single term that's still called an expression. It doesn't have to be more than one term, it can be a single term, 3 times the product of two unknown variables, x and y. So now we have a better concept of what an expression is. So when they ask you to simplify an expression or multiply expressions, now you know that they're talking about something like this. That's the answer to what is an expression.